Hey everybody, welcome back to Downtown Trains. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my Southern Pacific E9 diesel locomotive. So I'm not sure who made this train. Uh, it came in a Spectrum box, but it says lifelike on the bottom. And um, I've been told that it could be like a lifelike Proto 2000 or Cato thing, some kind of partnership with them. I'm not entirely sure. If anybody does know, let me know in the comments. Because uh, I'd really like to know. And it's a nice train, too. Um, it has a blinking light, and uh, it's got all kinds of other cool features. It's heavy. It has a metal chassis and uh, trucks down here. It's got this kind of... I'm not really sure what you call that, but it moves and stuff, which is pretty cool. Lots of little intricate details. And I think it might be DCC because there's a circuit board in it, but I'm not sure if that's just for the light or what. The other reason I think it might be is because it says 4 here, and that just might be like the number that they would use to run it with DCC. Otherwise, I'm not sure why I'd just say 4. And it's a great runner, so here it is running. As you can see, the light blinks, and uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, when you stop the train, it rolls for a while. Right now, it has no power. I actually cut power at the station right there, so... That's the only thing I don't really like about it. Because sometimes, if it's um, derailed or something, and I have to stop it quickly, that could cause it to fall off the table or something bad like that. Other than that, though, I have no complaints about the train. It's really nice. It's a great puller. It's great looking, and uh, I've never really seen any others like it. So, it's a really cool train. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.